and take it if you want it. Come and take it if you think you can. Come and take it, but I warn you, you'll have to pry it from my cold dick. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the great one, the Southern Republic, the gangster of guns, the Mac Daddy of knife reviews, is reviewing a damn knife. If you can't tell, Jesus. So, uh, I made this really cool video last night, you know, the 12 essential things to start, to get you started on the prepping road, and I don't know what I did, but it... The audio sounded like a freaking chipmunk, and it was like 40 minutes long, and it was a complete and utter failure. So I gotta redo it. But I ain't doing it right now, because I'm talking about this right here. Let's pop this bitch out. Bam! We have got a Jason Browse Coroner Zombie Edition. So I thought this was pretty freaking badass. For zombie knives, at least. Uh, in general, it's pretty badass. So let's just get all the, the BS specs out of the way. The overall is 11 and a quarter inches long. It's got a six and a half inch blade, so that gives you about a you know, four and a quarter or so inch handle. It is a quarter inch thick slab of D2, D2 tool steel. Say that fast. It is a freaking badass. It's got a uh, machine cut G10 handles, and this thing weighs in at a whopping 14 ounces. This thing is cool. I'll tell you that right now. You have an uh, 11 and three or a six and a half inch uh, blade with a uh, six and a quarter inch cutting area. So you got this little quarter inch on the back that's not actual blade but considered when measured part of the blade I don't know whatever all right so now that I kicked the camera let's fix that so let's talk about this bad boy um this thing is just just cool the handle is really sweet it has this really it just fits in your hand perfectly watch that yoink bam this is nice it's got this really nice uh, jimping right here. It's got a good big, if you're wearing a glove, you can really wedge into that, these two big uh, holes right here. Or if you're just using it, you got a nice, nice jimping right there. It has this really sick uh, toxic green uh, coloring done. I think it's Cerakote with the uh, red blood splatter. And it is the corner with this uh, saw built into the back. Though it's not sharpened, but I'll tell you right now, that could do some friggin' damage right there with a really nice built-in blood groove right below it. So that's always good. Uh, it comes with a sheath. It is a uh, plastic mold, mold injected sheath, so it's not Kydex, although, yeah, it's not Kydex, it's plastic molding. It's really nice though, it fits the blade really, really well. Yeah, nice pop in there, not coming out, no rattle, except for this thing. It doesn't rattle at all. Good place right here for your thumb to push it out, so it's got a great deta a great um, hold on it. So you've got your holes going all the way around. Uh, you can lash it to anything at the big holes, small holes for paracord, so you can kind of mount it as you'd like. Also, you've got this nice uh, nylon belt loop right here so it's got a good hang right there it's also got a nice button snap as you can see it goes in there and it snaps down nicely just like that i think it's really really cool uh my only issue with the uh, sheath is that when you hang it on a right-handed person it hangs blade back personally i would like to be able to hang it the other way this way when i draw it i would draw the blade forward like this that's just my preference when it comes to knives and a lot of sheaths you can't do that uh, but all in all it's a really nice sheath price this thing is a little pricey guys um, you know me I'm a mr. knife guy fan I try to always buy from my local folks and mr. knife guy is my knife dude uh, so he's retailing are these right now at 349 I think he had two when I was in there the other day this one is on loan from him because uh, 
350 is a little more than I got in the, the bank right now after paying bills. It does have a wicked, wicked edge on it, and um, no pun intended. Let me see if I can find a piece of paper to cut. Everything I've got is like stapled to crap, so let's see what we got here. Yeah, I mean, you can see. It's just cutting that through butter. Like butter, baby. All right, clean everything up here. It's pretty sick. Um, it's a little late in the zombie knife blade uh, genre, I think. I think the whole zombie knives have kind of run its course, in my opinion. I mean, you're not seeing as many zombie knives anymore, or zombie this, zombie that, as you were like a year ago, but it's pretty badass nonetheless. Even that, even if you get just one of the regular ones with just the, um, the satin blade or one of the blacked out ones, you know, you'd be good, but I mean, this is, it is sick looking. Zombie knife or not, it is pretty bad friggin' ass. I like how he matched the, uh, the screws to the color, so everything's kind of color coordinated. I really do like the G10, the machine G10 that he does. I think it turned out really cool. You can see he's got really nice grooves in it. It's got a great beveled edge, so there's really no hot spots when you're holding this knife at all. It just literally fits in your hand just perfectly in my opinion and i think the the handle is it's like a perfect length for a guy with hands my size so if you have smaller hands this might not fit quite as well in your hand as a smaller knife would but i think this is just a really wicked knife if this was mine i'd take it outside and i'd chop the crap out of some stuff with it but it's not i gotta give it back so i'm not going to abuse it much I do like here on the hilt how it has the little uh, the pointed hilt or pommel, whatever it is, where if you had to, you could uh, crack a fool on the top of the head. So uh, you got zombie cutting and zombie cracking and zombie splicing. You literally splice a dude open with that thing, just turn it around and quack. But it's got a great edge. You can see here, zoom in, you see that really nice bevel he did on his edge it's it's absolutely beautiful comes all the way to the front i think it just it's just literally for a production um fixed blade i think literally it's it's i'd say i give it a nine out of ten um to be honest with you in my opinion it's it's beautiful if you guys want to get one they are harder to find he does everything he does is limited runs so get in on this get one now or you're probably never going to be able to get one so that's it for the Jason Browse Corner Zombie Edition. As always, Semper Fi, have a good day. So you best not cross that line. If you want this gun, you gotta come through us and take it. One shot at a time.